I can't go on. I kept losing my breath last night. This is an oxygen mask. It will help you. Try to breathe calmly. Heart failure is a common condition. Approximately 15 million people in Europe and 100,000 people in Switzerland suffer from it. It is the one cardiovascular condition that grows increasingly year after year. It is the principal cause of hospitalization among people over 65. Although it is difficult, that is to say almost impossible to heal a weak heart, it is possible to improve one's situation. The cause must first be determined before prescribing an appropriate treatment for reducing symptoms, improving the quality of life, increasing life expectancy and reducing hospital admissions. This film has been made to teach about heart failure, its mechanisms and causes, to point out its symptoms, to present the different therapies and to indicate good habits and the right attitude to enable you to live with heart failure as long as possible. You should keep it on, it's very important. I'm the physician on duty. Hello, doctor. What's wrong? I can't breathe. How long has this been going on? Hours. I'm going to listen to your lungs. Lean forward, please. You can lay down now. I can hear fluid in the lungs. We'll give you a drug to make you urinate and eliminate the water. You'll quickly feel much better. Then we'll do some more tests. Hello. I'm going to do a chest x-ray, okay? Don't move. This plaque goes behind your back. It's a bit hard and a little cold. Now take a deep breath, hold it, don't move. There. Very good. Well, you seem better. Hello, doctor. Hello. Yes, I, I feel better. Have you noticed if your legs have swollen lately? Yes, I, I've had trouble putting on my shoes. Doctor, what's wrong with me? You have what's known as heart failure. Your heart isn't pumping blood as well as it should. The heart is a muscle that works like a pump, constantly pumping blood into every organ of our body. The weakening of this process, known as heart failure, has two main effects. First, an insufficient amount of blood is supplied to the body, which can result in muscular fatigue. Secondly, through a rather complex process, the decrease in blood circulation provokes an accumulation of fluids, which increases the volume of blood that circulates. This fluid tends to build up in the lungs, reduces oxygen absorption and provokes shortness of breath, coughing or wheezing. Fluid overload might also provoke swelling in the ankles and legs. It may occur in the liver and digestive organs and thus reduce appetite. It will also increase body weight. Your capacity to participate in everyday activities will be reduced and you may be obliged to consult a doctor or be admitted to hospital. We're going to do two things. First, we'll begin treatment using a number of drugs. Yes. And we'll also begin a series of tests to find out why you've developed heart failure. Heart failure is principally caused by coronary heart disease and by high blood pressure. Coronary heart disease is the narrowing of the coronary arteries that feed the heart. A clogged coronary artery prevents oxygen from reaching a part of the heart and this may destroy it. This is called myocardial infarction. Sufficient damage can produce heart failure. Here we can see your heart from below. Uh, we're getting very good images. Is my heart in bad shape? Uh, the ventricles. The left ventricle is contracting less than it should. Can you see it? Yes, very well. 
Uh, here's the left ventricle. This is how it should normally contract. Contraction is important because it ejects blood into the body. If it isn't working as well as it should, this may explain why you have been out of breath these past few days. Cardiomyopathies, or heart muscle diseases, a malformation of the heart at birth, or valvular heart disease, could cause heart failure, but this is relatively rare. Hypertension, that is to say high blood pressure in the arteries over a long period of time, can also cause heart failure, as the heart must struggle against the high pressure level in order to pump blood. Hypertension is the main cause of your heart failure. This means that there has been a high level of pressure in your blood vessels for some time now. But I feel better now. I'm practically healed. I can go home soon. Yes, you can go home. That's the good news. But we can't cure you because heart failure can't be cured, but it can be stabilized. Even if heart failure is not completely curable, the situation can be improved through numerous treatments. A variety of drugs can be used to help the weakened heart do its job. Angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors or other related drugs dilate blood vessels and reduce blood pressure. Beta blockers slow the heart rate and reduce pressure. Diuretics help eliminate excess water and salt through the urine. Aldosterone antagonists block the harmful effects of this hormone on the heart. Evapridine slows the heart rate and digoxin helps the heart pump blood. All of these drugs have well-proven beneficial effects on the symptoms, on reducing the number of hospitalizations and on survival. However, you must be patient because efficient doses can only be reached after several weeks of treatment. You should inform your doctor of any undesirable side effects which may occur and never stop taking a drug without consulting your physician. Except for medication and changing my lifestyle, aren't there any other treatments? A friend of mine told me they gave him a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. You have certainly heard about other treatments, such as pacemakers and defibrillators, but you really don't need them right now. Your doctor can tell you more about them if it becomes necessary. Along with using the prescribed drugs, the patient must also play an active role in his own treatment. He must adapt his lifestyle and learn various ways of managing his situation. Do you have a pillbox at home? A pillbox? No. It's very practical. You can find one at the pharmacy. There are several columns with slots to indicate when each pill should be taken. The patient must also watch out for any newly arising alarming symptoms. Daily checkup, your weight. Your doctor will also ask you to check your blood pressure and pulse. Inform your doctor of increase in loss of breath, two or more kilos gained in less than three days, swollen legs, dizziness, rapid heart rate or palpitations. My doctor mentioned changing my way of living. What does that mean? There are a number of important rules to follow. First, you must weigh yourself every day, and perhaps jot your weight down in a logbook. How are you doing, Dad? Preparing food together is nice. Yes, very nice. It was good of you to come over. You know, it helps me a lot. How are you doing on your own? It's okay. I do what I'm supposed to do. It wasn't easy at first. Oh, yeah? No. And breakfast. What do you do? How do you begin your day? With fruit. Good. I enjoy that. Good. And then I have coffee, uh -huh. butter, jam, and even honey. Right. It, that keeps me going until good. noon. Yes, that's good, yes. And at midday, those are the important meals. Uh, yeah, I go to the market. Right. I go to the market, I buy my vegetables, I eat rice, sometimes fish. And yesterday I bought some dried meat with a piece of cheese. It was delicious. Ah, oh, it was so good. Yes, I'm sure it was, but it's not good for you. And altogether, that's a lot of salt, Dad. Salt is one of the problems. It increases the accumulation of fluids in the body. Its consumption must be limited to 5 to 6 grams per day, the equivalent of a coffee spoon. Eating lots of fruit, lettuce, fresh vegetables, fish, legumes with olive or rapeseed oil is still the best diet. 
And physically, do you feel better? I feel better, but you know, after what happened to me, my life has changed. Yes, and you really have to stay active. It's part of the treatment. But that's the way it is, and I'm willing to do it. I have to weigh myself, take medicine, I keep a diary. A brochure to help heart failure patients plan their daily meals is available. Heart failure patients must check their weight at the same hour each day, preferably in the morning after urinating. If appropriate, the doctor will prescribe the use of a blood pressure measuring device to enable the patient to check his blood pressure and pulse at home. Never hesitate to engage in physical activity. Moderate walking, bicycling, swimming and playing golf are highly recommended for reducing symptoms and improving the quality of one's life. The doctor may advise you to limit your intake of liquids to a litre and a half every 24 hours because less water is eliminated from the body when you have heart failure. Do you have any questions? Yes, I, I hike a lot. Can I start hiking in the mountains again? Yes, of course. Uh, you can go up to 1,500 meters without any problem. Since you enjoy hiking, give yourself time to adapt, one or two days before really getting into it. Then you can continue hiking with your wife. Anything else? Yes. Sex. No problem. There is no contraindication. You can have a normal sex life. What symptoms should I watch out for? Common symptoms are shortness of breath when exerting oneself, shortness of breath when lying down and at night, swollen ankles, legs or feet, fatigue. You should consult your doctor if any of these symptoms arise. Hello. Hello. My name is Isabel. I am a physical education therapist. Heart failure patients are encouraged to participate in a structured cardiac rehabilitation program. Can you lift your t-shirt, please? Physical exercises will teach you how to work with your body. This will enhance your physical capacity and diminish your symptoms. I would like you to follow the blue line around the room, walking as fast as possible. Specialized medical personnel can teach you how to better understand your illness, adapt your lifestyle, perform your own checks and recognize warning signals. It's important for us to assess your fitness level as precisely as possible in order to plan an appropriate rehabilitation training program, as well as to understand what stage you're at in your illness. This is to measure your oxygen intake during the exam. There, three seconds. Shall we continue or stop? Okay, we can stop. Great, you did very well. Very good. Did it go well, Mr. Cavalier? Yes, very well. Can you please indicate your level of effort on the Borg scale? Mm, here. 13? A little difficult? Yes, a little difficult. It's a good level in your rehabilitation process. Although, generally speaking, heart failure cannot be cured, it should not prevent you from participating in most of your favorite activities and continue enjoying life thanks to treatment and appropriate help. Your future health depends on effective treatment, but it also depends on you. Working together with your doctor or nurse to monitor your symptoms and how well you follow your treatment plan makes all the difference in the world.